Hey guys, and welcome back to more Siphon Filter. When we last left off, we were about to infiltrate the Farcom warehouses. So, incoming from Leon, Roma's men are attacking Fagan's warehouse district in force. You have to get to the silos mainframe computers before they do. The agency satellites are down, but Amtomov assures me the silo can only be accessed via a service elevator in warehouse 76. Ericsson has the computer's access code, so you'll need to find him first. This warehouse was Farcom's clearing house for the bodies they were using to transport the virus. You have to plant beacons on any bodies you find so the agency can retrieve them for disposal at a later date. Uh, at a level 5 containment facility, I should say. Oh boy. This mission in particular is... Well, she's a doozy, let's just say that. <laughs> Come on, Gaben, let's go. Romer's men, Fagan's men, it's a war zone down there. The mainframes are in the abandoned silo beneath the warehouse. The only way in is through a series of mining tunnels. Warehouse 76 has an elevator that goes down to them. Once in the silo, you'll need a series of key codes to operate the computer. You'll have to get that from Richard Erickson. He's in charge of Farcom's European operation, so he must be down there somewhere. Where can I find him? Fagan was in the process of moving the shipping office, but it used to be in the second story of one of the warehouses. I need to tag all the viral caches down there so nothing slips through the cracks. How many carrier bodies are there? I'm not sure. There are dozens of warehouses down there. You won't have time to search them all. Farcom has developed a device that allows you to detect the virus remotely. Erickson probably has it. Leon, keep trying to contact Markinson. Mara, you'd better be telling the truth. Watch her closely. So, oh, I can't help but comment on Mara's face in that helicopter. Both sides killing each other down there. You should be able to stay out of sight long enough to get the job done. Be careful. I mean, these early 3D graphics, right? Jeez. Anyway, so Mara is now apparently helping us. Oh, hi. Let's go, Gaben. So, the rub with this mission, basically, there's a massive kind of civil war thing going on down here between the two factions, and you don't really want to get caught up in it. So, we're just going to be running through and trying to avoid as much combat as possible because, man, they'll kill us quick. Erickson, move. Who are you? What do you want? I'll ask the questions. I need the access codes to the silo mainframes now. But, but I don't know. I'm going to count to three, then I pull the trigger. But look, One, I don't know the codes. Two. All, all right, all right. Here it is. Please. Stay here. If you move a muscle before I return, I'll take you out myself. Jeez, Gaben. Gaben's not pulling any punches. Okay, so first checkpoint pretty quick. Now, now there is a kind of annoying factor, right? You, uh, I don't think you need this viral scanner because I know where all the bodies are. Lel, I know where all that the bodies are. That scanner should help you find the viral carriers. Um, but every if you do die and reset at this checkpoint, you have to remember to grab that again as many times as you need. It's kind of annoying. So anyway, Ericsson, I'll be seeing you a little bit later on, me old mucker. Now we're just gonna run. We're just gonna forget everybody. Only going to be taking out people that we have to. Um, our armor is literally paper thin at this stage. Uh, we die frighteningly quick. Luckily, unless we do something like really stupid, the enemies don't care too much about us, which is nice. The feeling is mutual, I can assure you. Alright, so let's head into warehouse 23. This is all optional, but there's a spicy weapon in here. The Biz 2. And this thing really is <laughs> the business. So let's have a little look. Uh, this pistol machine gun is designed to deliver sustained firepower in tight quarters. The unconventional design of the large capacity magazine keeps the weapon compact but still provides a near bottomless source of ammunition. Well, I think the whole bottomless source of ammunition is kind of hyperbole, but you know, it's a pretty awesome weapon. Rate of fire is not too bad. And you do get quite a lot of ammo for it. And 6.6 uh, six round magazine. You actually get this weapon in uh, Resident Evil 7 as well. Which is cool. It was a fun weapon to have. Right, screw you guys. I'm going home. Wait, what's that? 
We're not done yet? No. No, we are not going home anytime soon. Right, so there's one of the bodies hidden away in this uh, box, I guess? Question mark? I found and tagged the virus carrier. I'm not sure what Fagan was planning here. It looks like he had enough of this stuff to wipe out a continent. I'm trying to tap into NATO's spy satellite so I can get a fix on your position. But the agency computers must have crashed. Don't worry. I've got it covered down here. So Mackinson has disappeared and the agency computers are offline and unresponsive to us. Can't get hold of anybody. Hmm. Okay. All right. Definitely. Probably fine. I'm sure that's all fine. Whoop. That's fine. Just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. It's okay. Everything is okay. Right, those drones are going to fight amongst themselves. Fight my fools. Yes. Kill yourselves and I shall harvest the bodies. Not for sustenance, you understand, but for loot and weapons and things. Right, so if we get our handy dandy iPhone out again. Is it an iPhone or is it an Android? Who knows? And there's another body here. It's kind of odd how they're just sort of scattered around. There's like one little body here, one little body there. You know, there isn't a huge amount of rhyme or reason to it, but whatever. Unless all of these are just full of bodies and only like one of them is contaminated in the whole stack. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't have all the answers, guys. I'm just a mere mortal. Right, okay, so now what I find easier here, we can actually blow that door out, but uh, it's kind of rough going out there. So what we're going to do instead, oh, they cleared the area for us, whoa, World War 3, that's fine. Ugh, maybe this game is more true to life than we originalized. Get out of my way, sunshine, hot stuff coming through. Oop. Someone's trying to shoot me in the ass piece. But not today. Whew. We're a man on a mission. Come on, Gaben. Whoop. Let's keep this going. Now we're into the under caves. And there's a whole load of action going on down here. Damn. Now, as usual, we have to kind of sort out the loser. I guess there was no losers here. There are no winners in war, I suppose. Let's start getting all philosoph philosoph philosophical. Thank you. Bit of a, a, dyslexic, a, dyslexic, a dyslexic retard spasm there. <laughs> okay, all right. My brain is overheating from trying to remember like <laughs> this, this level, which I actually played a few days ago. All right, anyway, let's keep going. I actually uh, played this level loads and loads of times because, man, this this one's rough, guys. This is this one's probably the hardest level so far. All right, looks like we've got a couple of goons down here. Get rid of your head and your head. Fools. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, and as I said, uh, we're kind of at that section of game now where, you know, our armor is paper thin. Really doesn't take much to chew through it. Let's get rid of him. Cool. Now, we're gonna, come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. I don't think for some reason they can actually hit us up here. Uh, I don't know why. It's a little bit weird, but I'll take what I can get. Because, to be fair, if they were going to shoot us here, yeah, game over, man. Game over. Right, let's hit the power switch and grab ourselves another checkpoint. Ooh, they sound like zombies. Now, you need to be careful here. Yeah, because otherwise that happens. <laughs> yeah, this is a really difficult dismount, especially whilst you're being shot at. Thanks, mate. Ooh. Run! No, we didn't run. We didn't run fast enough, dude. Now, obviously you can try and like kill these guys, but 
on it. There's no point. There's no point. I did try for quite a while to kill all of these men. But they pretty much just endlessly respawn. So we ain't going to be worrying about any of that. Not today. Anyway, Gaben, luckily there is a fresh flak jacket through here. Whoop. Definitely going to want that. Nice. Brand new as well. No blood stains or bullet holes. Not yet, anyway. All right, anyway, let's go get that last body. Oh, God. This room is also rough. Really rough. He's got a flat jacket and he's going to throw grenades at us. But that's okay, because if, as long as we stand here on this pile, he cannot get us. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, really handy to know that. Took me a few tries to try and find somewhere in this uh, particular building where I couldn't have grenades thrown at my arsehole. But ah, that grenade guy, guys, I'm, I'm not even going to get into it because I'm probably going to go on a tangent about grenade guys. <laughs> okay, cool. If you see the grenade, you're probably dead. Just going to say that. Drop a save state because remember, every time we hit a checkpoint, we're going to be dropping a save state. Just because it's quicker to load the save state than reload the checkpoint. Run! Leroy! Come on, Gaben. Keep that moving. Boop! Now we've turned off all the electric fences. Oh, God. That's fine. We can go this way. Now, you do want to be a little bit careful here. Keep that spring in your step because a couple of guys are going to spawn behind us. But we're not going to worry about them because if we kill them, do you know what happens? A couple more spawn. I think there's two waves. But sod those guys. Now, if you get too close to these fences, if you haven't turned the uh, fence off, you start getting zapped. It isn't an instant kill, but it does drain your health pretty quickly. Anyway, we're going to want to hold on to that gun pretty tight. Keep it gripped. Oh, you... Oh, we got him. We got him. We opened up his head like a watermelon just as he went around that corner. Which is good. Because there's a hell of a trap for us here. And if we could start killing some of these guys, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, nasty trap there. And you cannot use those barrels to do anything. But they can use those barrels against you because fuck you, I guess. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Now, interesting with this guy. Like, he doesn't seem to attack you ever. Even if he, um, if he spots you, he won't actually stand and shoot like, you know, every other enemy in the game. He just runs around this corner uh, and keeps running. Um, <laughs> maybe when he gets here, he'll stop and aim at you and return fire. But I've never let him live that long, to be honest. Anywho, let's keep going. Not bad, Gaben. Not bad. Welcome back, me old fruit. Whew. Yeah, we're going to save our game. And we're going to keep going. Whilst I drink coffee. Now we're against the Farcom Elite Guards. Incoming from Lian, I still can't contact Mackinson. I've hacked into the agency's European computer system. Bad news. You're probably going up against Farcom's elite guards, extremely well trained and armed. Even Roma's men haven't broken through their perimeter yet. Avoid any direct firefights if you can. Warehouse 76 should be south of your present position. Where the hell is our agency backup? NATO thinks a civil war is breaking out, but we're getting no support. Oh my. That's okay. Leon. I found shipping manifests for parts having something to do with R9 Devyaka. Do you have anything on that? Now checking. The R9 Devyaka is a two-stage liquid-propelled rocket with a range of 12,500 kilometers. It carries a five megaton payload, but it says here that Russia retired it in 1977. Check and make sure the silo site is abandoned. It looks like Fagan was planning something bigger than we thought. Yeah, what's that naughty little yeah. get up to? Any luck contacting Markinson? No. In fact, I can't raise anyone back at European Command. Okay, well, that seems a little bit suspect, doesn't it? Anyway, no time to worry about such things. There's a flattened jacket here, but we do need it. 
let's go, brother. Now this one, it's kind of a similar vein to the level that, well, the section that we've just done, except there's no civil war going on here. There's two guys directly above our head. We're not going to worry about them because I think if we shoot them, they, they just spawn again. So we take him out. Yep, now they're getting a little bit antsy. You're done, son. Whoop. And there's a little git in here, which will detach his head from his neck, if we can. That's the only good thing about this uh, rather large magazine on this weapon. Now, there's no point in coming in here, apart from, right at the back, we have a sniper rifle cache. Lovely. Uh, the sniper rifle isn't that useful, really, in this game, but, yeah, you know, we'll take it. We'll take it. No point living it for the roaches. All right, Gaben, let's keep moving. We need to find us some bodies to fondle. Well, maybe not fondle them, but... Was there one in here? I don't... No, there wasn't. I didn't think there was. I tell you guys, I'm getting old. My brain isn't what it used to be. Well, my brain never really was much anyway, but, you know. All right. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. Whoop. Good night, sweet prince. Your life was wasted for an unjust cause, and you are now food for the worms. I hope it was worth it. Evening, gentlemen. Evening. In fact, actually, if I shoot him, his mate's going to turn around. Unless, you see. Nope. Even if we use a sniper silenced weapon. I was curious about that. Even if you use the silenced weapon, sometimes the enemies are just smart enough to recognize that their friend has died. Anywho, if we use our super spectres, or spectacles, we can see there's another stiff buried in here, so we'll do the honorable thing. Gotta find that sweet spot. There we go. Alright. Not too shabby at all. All right, we look clear out here. Whoop. Now, the lights are on. Probably somebody home. Spoiler, someone's definitely home, but we're not going to worry about it too much. Okay. We'll get him in a minute. Good night. Nope. Why is reload button the everything button? Yeah, so if you tap the reload button when you're near anything interactive, uh, uh, Gabe will fondle the interactive thing. And our last body is stashed in here. Come on, you maggots. Wait, there should be two of you. There's always two of you. What? No, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying what you're selling, game. Right, so I've completed this mission probably three or four times. There's... There we go. I guess we just didn't quite hit the trigger point. I was going to say, there's always two. Wait, you sneaking sunshine. Oh, he's got his flank jacket. <laughs> Damn it, you're supposed to be reloading. Not running up trees or, well, boxes, I guess. Okay, that got a little bit dicey for a second, didn't it? Not the diciest part of this level, which is co coming up very soon. And there is our last bodder. Now, planting the beacon on this guy is actually quite hard, because Gabe just wants to climb instead of, you know... That's the trouble, guys, with having a do everything button. It tries to do everything when you want it to do one thing. Anyway, let's go. Let us return to the lit up building. And uh, go say hello to the occupants. Evening, Squire. Evening. How's the missus? Oh, that's right. 
Uh, I'll be the one kissing her good night from now on. Okay. Come on. There we go. Oh, I didn't put down a safety save, did I? Did I? Can't remember. There's one now. Right, this is the hardest part of this level. This bit is oof. Oof. <laughs> There's a reason I played this level so many times. Let's jump up. Oh dear. Gabe, I thought you was a like, supremely trained professional. Professional box climber. Ugh, there we go. Right, now we're going to want to sidestep like a mofo straight away. Oh god. Okay. Got him. Right, once you've got one. The rest of the pawns shall fall into place. Oh god. Yeah, this is a nasty, nasty, nasty little, little bastard of a section right there. The amount of times I died there, I, I can't even tell you. It was a few. <laughs> Quite a few. Right. Actually, did I just say we've already done the last body? We haven't. There is one more. Evening, gentlemen. There we go. Nice try, boys. Nice try. Can I interest you in a hot potato? Whoop. You son of a... <laughs> you son of a... What? Son of a what? Really? Are you serious? Okay, these hot potatoes are apparently not that spicy, which is unfortunate. Or maybe we did get one, perhaps. Yeah, we got one, which is better than none, I guess. One generally is better than none. Not always, depends what it is. If someone hands you one nugget of shit instead of two, Ooh, none is definitely better than one. Anyway, let's go load up. Now, the last body is in this little case here. There we go. Now, like I said, you don't need the scanner. That's the last viral carrier. Your beacons are transmitting, and a CBDC team's been dispatched to clean up. But their ETA is at least two hours. You're still on your own down there. The beacons are lit. Gondor calls for aid. Right, um, well, unfortunately, our job is not done yet. Come on, sunshine. Oh, you son of a... I hesitated there. <laughs> Talk about a decap attack. Anyway. Oh, evening. Oh, dude. Dude. That was just sad. All those years of training. Oh! Oh! He just... Ah, oh, no! Right, <laughs> one second, guys. That guy just, like, completely ate my asshole for breakfast. And was very unapologetic about it. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Once more with the old feelers. Okay, let's go a little bit slower this time. He's done. Where's your friend? Oh, no running in my hallway. You know the rules. Yeah, one must be very careful of these barrels. They are highly explosive. They contain highly explosive material. Like so, you see? He's done. Oh god. Alright, we got a badass over here, guys. Guy thinks he's a hero. Now, what's this way? A load of dead soldiers, apparently. Nice try, Bozo. Alright, I'm certainly not going to be reliving the past endeavors. Right, that is a combat sh yeah, combat shotgun, but we already have maxed out on that bad boy. Come on, kids. Get your medicine. One round at a time. 
Who you silly git? Too busy trying to look cool, that's the trouble. The trouble with these new terrorists. It's all about what they post to Instagram. Looking badass in the combat zone. Hey guys. He's done. All right, we are kind of running out of ammo, but that's fine because we're just at the end of the section now anyway. Let's go. Now we're going to run like a mofo because there's a son of a bitch up there hocking grenades hey, at that's us. Warehouse 76. The entrance to the silo. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. It's quite a lot of damage for one bell end with a grenade. But whatever. Whatever. Things are going to heat up from here on out. So, Warehouse 76, incoming from Lian. The entire warehouse district is going up in flames. You have to find the freight elevator before Warehouse 76 collapses around you. Amarov says it's located in the southeast corner of the building. You don't have much time. I've done a spot of analysis of the serum that Markerson was having you administer to the test subjects in Roma's stronghold. Gabe, it wasn't a vaccine. It was some form of concentrated potassium chloride used in lethal injections. Markerson was having you kill those men. <gasps> what? Tell me it's not so. Yeah, so we just killed a load of Leon, innocent people. Ask Mara if she's sure the entrance to the silo caves is in this warehouse. It's burning to the ground. She's positive. You better hurry. That fire's burning out of control, and the whole place could collapse any minute. I'm going in. Which, to be fair, is pretty freaking horrendous for like a PlayStation 1 game. Anywho, place is on fire. Probably should get out. We've got like 15 minutes before this place becomes ash. Yeah, probably best we weren't here for any extended period of time. If we even accidentally graze the fire, game over, man. Game over. But, that's okay. I've only actually run this level a couple of times. Oh, dear. So, I'm not exactly an expert at this one. Oh, God. But hopefully, I remember it just enough to get by. Ooh, hello. Whoop. Right. Wow. At least we don't have to worry about getting cold. You know, that's kind of a a pretty good side effect of being in this hell hole. Now let's switch to a weapon that's got actual ammo. Now you need to be careful when doing any kind of platforming here because pushing forwards a little bit too much, well, you're going to have a bad time. And that's putting it lightly. Oof. Okay. Yeah, we got some serious, like, Tomb Raider vibes here. That's alright. We can handle that. Oh, hi, guy. Yes, I'm shooting you in the dick. Oh, nice. Got him with the explosive barrels. Right at the end. Ugh. Evening. Somebody is rattling off at us with some uh, firepower. Well, that's fine. Now, you can't climb on top of barrels, by the way. But you can climb on top of wooden burning crates. I didn't make the game, guys. Right. Blizz 2. Definitely want that. That's one of my favorite weapons in this game. Probably should switch up to it as well. Um, oh, my. Hello. Hi. Evening. I think that shut his noise up. What did you have for me, sunshine? Huh? Are you okay? All right. I think there's a f yeah, I was about to say, I think there's a flat jacket here somewhere. A nice fresh one. We like the fresh ones. Sorry, friends. Ain't got time to play with you. And this one, yeah, combat shotgun, but we're maxed out on that, so. All right, good enough. I think it's time we weren't here. So let's go this way. Oh, hello. Bit of an awkward time. 
Did you make contact with Markinson yet? Still no contact. Get a hold of anyone at Euro Command and advise them of our current situation. If I don't make it, I want someone else ready for recon and retrieval. So far, I can't get anyone on comm. It's almost as if we're on blackout. Keep trying. Keep trying, you fool. We can't be, ah, safe point, lovely, we'll take you. All right. It's quite enough out of you, sir. Don't want to hear about all of your problems. Ugh, there we go. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Hello. Hello, sir. That was very unwise to stand next to that highly explosive material. Oh, yes. I like this room. Hey, guys. Welcome to the party, pal. Just the one. That's more like it. These guys were all supposed to spawn at the same time, and it was going to be really fun, and we were going to blow them all up at once, but the game screwed us pretty hard. So, you know, only got to blow one of them up. Bit of a waste. Hey, sir, some fancy legs you got there. Be awful if someone shot them to pieces. All right, cool. Now, there's a secret around here somewhere. Ooh, yeah, through here, I see. Whoop. I say secret. I think it's a secret. I'm not really sure. But if we come up here... I mean, it's secret in the way that we don't actually need it to progress, so... Kill you. Just a little bit off the top. You know how it is. And if we bounce up here... Yeah, come on. There we go. There's an M79. Wait a minute. Who's shooting me? I've never been shot up here. Maybe I have and I've forgotten. I'm old, you see. All right, there we go. Oh, there you are. Hello. Let's detach your spine from the rest of you. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Careful, careful, careful. Oof. It's a good thing these barrels aren't as explosive as you would think. Alright. Now, we're almost home free. Almost. Now, old Gaben here can launch himself way higher than you would give him credit for. Alright, there we go. Oh, hi. Kind of forgot about you in the corner there. Good things I have the reaction of 36 middle-aged gamers. Right. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Whew. Now, the main problem with this level, really, is um, it kind of all looks the same. I don't think that's the right way to go. Ah, it's not. We need to go up this way. Nearly ran my ass through a load of... Uh, fire. Wouldn't be the first time. Probably won't be the last. You know how things generally go on this channel. Right, now we're gonna run. Oof. Okay. That's always a little bit sweaty there. And by little bit sweaty, I mean extremely. Come on, Gaben. Come on. There we go. Alright. Now, let's hope that elevator is still Oh, it's not here. That sucks. Well, luckily enough, we have the key. Whew. Let's get out of the fire, huh? Going down. I found the elevator down. Did you reach anyone yet? Still no contact. We're finally starting to attract some attention, though. The Kazakhstan government is mobilizing ground forces and is asking Russia for help. They think a civil war is breaking out here. I'll hurry. <laughs> yeah, that's that that's not great, is it? Now that's uh significantly worse. So we're stuck down here. And we have Russia and Kazakhstan, you know, knocking on our back door. Hmm. Not great, really. Anyway guys, I will leave it there for this video. When we come back, possibly we'll be completing the game. So Till then guys, thanks for watching.